In this problem, we have 6 over 15 times negative 3. So because there's no symbol here and they're next to each other and there's a parentheses, it's assumed that we're multiplying. So what we can do to make this a little bit easier to understand is you can write negative 3 in a better way. So let's keep the 6 over 15. And let's go ahead and put the dot there for multiplication. And write this as negative 3 over 1. Okay, Because we can always do that. Whenever we have a whole number, uh, we can always just divide it by 1 like this. And then we know because one of the fractions is negative, the answer is negative. So I'll go ahead and put the negative sign there. And now we can cancel. Remember that numbers in the top can cancel with numbers in the bottom. So we can reduce the 6 and the 15, or we can reduce the 3 and the 15. Let's do the 3 and the 15. That should be good enough. 3 goes into 3 one time. So I'll draw a line here and put a 1. 3 goes into 15 five times. I'll draw a line here and put a 5. And now you see that nothing else can really be reduced. So now we just multiply straight across. 6 times 1 is 6 over, and then 5 times 1 is 5. Boom, there it is. That is the beautiful final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.